I came to New York in 1970, and uh, my first client was Jasper Johns. And then when Andy Warhol heard about that, he came and I did all of Andy Warhol's silk screens, paintings, portraits, whatever. And I've been working with Donald Batchelor for about 15 years. How do you like the lettering? Because I've always been fascinated by artists who make prints. For me, it's a way to kind of stand back from my studio and get a different perspective on the same imagery. In my work, I use the tension between these two sort of Divergent iconographic programs, you could say. In this case, the, the background is a kind of a crowd, which is something I've addressed in my paintings over the years. At the same time, I thought it was appropriate because it kind of vaguely could be read as an audience. And then there's the globe painted on top of that. The primary face here is the, this boy and the girl. Something I found in a flea market in Berlin. It was a series of flashcards for deaf children. Uh, and the mouths are supposed to indicate how to hold your mouth and how to hold your tongue in your mouth and what way to breathe as you're speaking to make certain noises for someone who cannot hear. And I showed them to a number of German friends of mine and they said they were completely ridiculous that they expected anyone just to, a child especially, to understand from these instructions how to speak. And so they became kind of useless, slightly comical. So I've done a lot of playing around with the mouths and the facial features and flipping the mouths around and making them larger and upside down. And so that's the basic of the cluster of heads, and the globe is about trying to indicate the nature of the music as coming from everywhere. This is how we start. We have uh, Donald, you know, look at the plates a bit and lift one up. And then we separate the colors for the background, whatever has to be done. And uh, as many colors as there are, as many plates. This job is 39 colors, so there's 39 plates all together. The plates will be shot on a copy frame with a very strong light. The screens are coated with a photosensitive emulsion and wherever the opaque prevents the light of hitting the emulsion, the emulsion will break out and open up the screen for the ink to go through. So when you wash it out later in the pressure washer, it will break out and that's where the ink goes through in the printing process. It's basically, it's almost like cartography. You build up from the valley to the mountain. I can translate his prints very, very easily. Even they are very complex. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm concerned about this, how big that is. You have to put your ego aside and do what the artist wants. You know, even if you think things are different, you would like to do it different, but you can't. You can make suggestions and show what you did, but it has to be in the spirit of the artist. It's always a challenge.